guys once again welcome to my channel this is the sixth tutorial of python uh, programming language and we will see the how dictionaries are uh, basically used in python and what all methods are there in dictionaries so quickly go to w3 school and here we have python dictionaries so it says that dictionaries are used to store data values in key value pair basically there would be a key for which a corresponding value will be there for example here it is brand and the value this brand is called key and this is ford is called as values so this this is the basic syntax of uh, dictionary so i'll come to code i'll just copy this and i'll go to the file I'll, python file which i have made i'll just delete all these and i'll control v now guys what if i print this dict then it will print me the entire thing you see brand ford model mustang year 1964 right guys so python dictionaries are unordered it is mutable also unordered means there is no index specification in this you cannot specify the index and get the item so it is unordered and it is mutable you can change the value of dictionary you can change the key the third thing is that it cannot contain duplicate keys for example if i have brand ford and i cannot write brand mercedes like that so there cannot be two keys over here so it is not it does not support the duplicacy all right guys so some of the methods we will see in this uh, like if i write this dict this dict dot items all right and if i print this let's say i give it as x equals to this and print x or you can directly keep it print this dict dot items so it will print you the entire thing you see it returns a list of key and value pairs so this key and the corresponding value similarly this key and corresponding values all right similarly if you want only keys then you have you will just write this dict dot keys and it will give you only keys so print x this d this dict dot keys and it returns a list containing dictionaries keys only so here it is i'll just you see dict keys are brand model and year i'll just remove uh, remove this because this is conf creating confusion yeah now you see if i run so it will only give a keys value all right similarly you can update the uh, you know dictionaries so if i write this dict uh, dot update and then uh, inside bracket i'll take curly bracket and uh, let's say if i want to add friends friends as keys and uh, i'll give a value as uh, a lifetime you know, glory so this will now when i update i have updated this now when i print this dict so it will print me along with that see friends a lifetime glory so this is the update methods guys and it updates the value of dictionary similarly you can get the uh, anything with get method for example if you write uh, this dict dot get and if you want to know the brand you can and you just write print print then it will print the value of ford you see ford this second thing is a replication of this one i'll just comment it out now you see this dict dot you need not print this so print this dict dot get brand so it will print ford see ford all right guys so this was a dictionary and uh, there are more methods available in the python documentation if you go there are very uh, less methods i have told you but these all are the similar methods you can get the dictionary by uh, same thing which we had done it over here you see my dict brand model this dict dot brand you can get the specific value of any keys 
all right so you just provide the key va key value and you will be getting the corresponding value of that key all right then it is uh, dictionary item data types you can uh, update the data then you can this is type is a dict type you know when you print the type of uh, you see if i go to vs code and if i type print print type of this dict so it will print dictionary you see dict so it is a dict type dictionary type all right guys so uh, accessing any particular key and their corresponding values like that then you can change the item you can update the dictionaries and uh, you can type it then add you can add something you can remove it you can pop method is used to remove that so if you write this dot pop model then it will remove this these things out of the dictionary all right so and then you have loop dictionary so if if this i just comment it out so if i write for loop if i use a loop method over here which we will be studying in the subsequent class so i'll just tell you how it is done for if i write for items in this dict all right print items so it will print me the entire thing you see brand model year like that so this is a for loop uh, which we have used over here similarly guys uh, all the functions which we are having is similar to that of the strings uh, and uh, loops not loops uh, we have not gone through loops but uh, lists and tuples all these methods are uh, used in this dict also so dictionaries and uh, the methods which are available in this is uh, phenomenal you just have to go through it to get yourself acquainted you can have a copy of this dictionary you can make a copy out of it the next uh, nested dictionary is nothing but uh, it is a dictionary inside a dictionary so you see dictionary inside a dictionary so if you just write it you will type the entire thing as like this right guys so then dictionary various dictionary methods you clear it, uh, if you use clear method it will remove all the elements if you copy then it will give you a returns a copy of the, that dictionary you want to get some particular item out of it you can get it then pop method is used to remove it and then like that and like so on all right some of the exercises are given you just go through it and you will be thorough with the dictionary part all right guys similarly we have sets so if you go through sets so sets are nothing but uh, they are unordered unindexed and they no way to change items in sets so you can try it this you will not be using much but uh, just for info you need to know about it so same methods are used in this in uh, uh, one more method i forgot to tell you that length of dictionary so you can have like if i print len of this dict all right so it will print me the number of items which are available so it will print 3 over here so you see 3 so if i add something if i add fruits and i put the value as love okay so now when it will print it will print 4 so this is the len methods which are used all right similarly uh, len methods in sets also so sets also returns the same same way the number of items which will be available that will be returned by the sets so if i go to i'll just comment it out so for sets we write set equals to i uh, don't know sorry s equals to 21 33 1 and some name let's say gaurav all right so if you print len of s and it will print you 4 you see 4 all right similarly you have uh, remove function also in this so if you write s dot remove and what you want to remove you just put it like gaurav you want to remove and then print s then it will print you it will remove gaurav and print the entire thing if i just comment it out then i print s then it will print gaurav also right so this was the remove function similarly pop function is that more removes an arbitrary element from the sets and return the element all right and then clear methods which we had seen so if i write s dot clear s dot clear and then i print s 
then nothing will be there inside it so all the items will be removed you see empty sets okay similarly union and intersections are there union is guys uh, if you have seen two circles like this one uh, union is nothing but the uh, overall items which are available in both the circles if you take an intersection is between uh, the intersection part the items which are available between the intersection part of the two circles so if i go to uh, i'll just take an example by so union and intersection okay yeah so i have this diagram so if i go through this i'm not through this yeah so these two circles which are there i'll just zoom it okay so these two circles let's consider this circle a and then this circle b so this three and four part are the intersection of the these two circles these are called intersection and similarly union is the entire thing this one plus this one plus this one all right so here it says a union b means the entire thing that green part and a intersection b is this only this thing that is this green part so like that uh, you can perform various operations in sets similarly you have if you want only uh, let's say this part so let's say you have r1 so r1 equals to it will become a minus b so only this part this particular if you see you remove the intersection part and you keep this part so this is equal to this entire b part minus this intersection part similarly this part is equals to entire a section minus this intersection part all right so uh, this was all about the union intersection guys uh, so here we have end up with the chapter dictionary and sets the next chapter guys we are, which is coming is very very interesting and uh, you will love the chapter it is conditional expressions in python and i am super excited to teach you all this and uh, definitely we are going to have fun in this exercise and uh, we will see some of the practical problems uh, while doing the conditional expressions all right so that is all for this lecture guys i'll see you in next lecture in conditional expressions and uh, till the time you take care and uh, see you tomorrow guys all right